Good evening. It's been three years since Arizona executed a death row inmate. The horrifying two hour long execution of Joseph Wood triggered a lawsuit that's now forcing the state to change the way it puts inmates to death. Does that mean executions are back on again? Tonight, Team 12's Bram Resnick is verifying it. A court settlement requires Arizona to overhaul how executions are carried out and which drugs are used, but the new drugs won't be easy to find. The botched execution of murderer Joseph Wood. It was a clear gasp, you know, and it just sort of looked like a fish opening and closing his mouth. Has shut down Arizona's death chambers. It took two hours to put Wood to death, the longest execution in U.S. history. Clearly it was a case where the Department of Corrections was improvising uh, and experimenting. The experimental drugs and controversial methods used to execute Wood three years ago spurred a federal lawsuit that resulted in a landmark settlement last week. When uh, Arizona gets to the point where it is able to carry out executions, uh, they will be uh, safer uh, and more transparent. Department of Corrections Director Charles Ryan faces new restraints on running executions and DOC agreed to use a new set of drugs, but those drugs aren't available. The department has indicated that it is uh, attempting to find drugs. Arizona executions hit a 13 year high in 2012, but Wood was the last inmate put to death by the state. Today, there are 118 inmates on Arizona's death row, 116 men and two women, and more on the way. Federal Public Defender Dale Bache says there's another way. There is an alternative, uh, life without parole, uh, that achieves the same purpose. We verify that executions in Arizona are on hold, with no resumption in sight. The settlement also requires the Arizona Department of Corrections to pay court costs of almost $3 million if it uses the drug linked to Joseph Wood's slow death. Bram Resnick, 12 News.